What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Arsenal Rebuild Series in Football Manager 2022. Leave a thumbs up if you've been enjoying this and we're going to get straight into reviewing uh, like the January update uh, for Season 2 here, which we... Uh, like when you look at being in sixth, you you think, oh, okay, we can be doing better. Uh, we've got the same amount of wins than Man City, as you can see there, or as Man City. Uh, it's been pretty close. And then West Ham, that's right. West Ham is top of the league. I don't want to do too much of a review. Like there's leads as well. So I, I just want to go to the player overview. If there's any standouts, you see Nikola Vlasic there. You know, what, eight goals? I wouldn't say that's incredible. He's had 16 appearances, uh, 11 finishing, but he's got good surrounding attributes. So, uh, yeah, maybe a little, surpri little surprised with that, but he's, yeah, uh, eight goals are solid. Cristiano at the top there, well, that's more so because of appearances. Out of every player, he's still named first. <laughs> I wonder what that actually is ranked by if that is just for appearances. Uh, but Ronaldo, yeah, leads the line. Uh, probably because, yeah, he's got the most wins. Well, Manchester United, his club. But it's not sorted by that elsewhere. So, yeah, because four is that. I, I don't even know. Just sorted by who's the best player. That would mean if every single player in the world was on 16 appearances, Ronaldo would still be on top. <laughs> Uh, but let's focus on some key points here. Bubakar Kamara, he's been uh, one of our better players in training consistently. So he's shut, like, I don't want to, you know, it's you can sign players on a free transfer. It's like not the most extensive thing you've ever done, but it just, it looks good. You sign a guy on a free transfer, 23 years old, and yeah, his value is in between, yeah, 48 mil and 60. It's... It's pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good, not going to lie. That's a valuable move. And, you know, he's French, Arsenal-type signing. Joe Galhard as well. Tierney, you know, he's been at Arsenal, and we know you know, we know what he does. Joe Galhard. Uh, we haven't used him a lot. We're just, you know, he's, he's still, yeah, he's only two-star ability. You know, we've got better forwards ahead of him, but uh, he's a good signing uh, for the rebuild. And, again, stick around to the end of the video, uh, and I'll talk about something, like, for the rest of the series and what uh, plans I have coming for videos uh, with FM. But we can take a look at more of the fixtures for now, like how it's played out or how the Champions League went. Uh, we did pretty well in the group against Salzburg, Benfica, and... F Whoa. I, yeah, I still don't know how to pronounce their name. I haven't even attempted when I was playing through. I'm just like, yep, that team again. I, I probably called them Fenerbahce to myself a couple times. It's close enough, even though one's from Hungary and one's from Turkey. But um, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, more, more importantly, uh, we'll be advancing to the knockout stages, or we have. And just to see who we've got in the knockouts... In the Champions League, look at this, Barcelona. But that's not the previous fear of facing Barcelona. Almost a bit of confidence. All depends who they have in their signings. But uh, yeah, it will be interesting. You know how we do with the rebuilds. We play through uh, for the rest of the season after January. Next episode, we see if we make the final or not uh, for the end of the season episode. Or whether it be like an FA Cup final or a, you know, just end of season update. Uh, with no success. We'll have to find out. But... Uh, it, uh, Funnily enough, it didn't work out. United, they couldn't be the next game. Uh, but this is where we've struggled. Uh, look, Man City, Man United, like they're the. Apart, I don't even want to talk about that Fulham game. Uh, feels quite a while ago. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't obviously play these all all in one day, half a season. Uh, but yeah, you get a couple disappointing losses there as well, like Leeds. A couple, like yeah, disappointing results. Uh, to be fair, but then we had a lot of good performances. Uh, you know, friendlies there, 2022, yeah, we're out in real life, late, wonder how that's going to impact, like, in real life, the Premier League season, but, yeah, World Cup, uh, pretty excited for that, you know, Australia qualified, it took, it, we took it the long way, uh, which we usually do, but it's all part of the fun, uh, yeah, so we're going to play against Brighton today, we should win, but... We're, we've had good games against lower teams this year, uh, this season, and then we've had bad games. So who knows how it's going to play out. But I, I've been, it's one where we've been happy where we're playing. We're missing Gabriel through suspension, then Odegaard uh, through injury. It's not too long, that injury. Uh, three more weeks. But yeah, still the point is, like, they're two important players. So you might as well just click them off for the time being and we'll sort out the selection. Uh, so average rating, Smith Rowe, I, I've been very impressed with him. 
Like he's taken the step up to be the best performing player in the team. Like that's that next level he's getting up to, which he has the ability for. And yeah, we got a lot of, especially good attacking players. I mentioned Odegaard, uh, Tierney's been right up there. The defenders don't generally reach the attackers' uh, average ratings, even they're playing amazing because yeah, the key passes, chances created, then let alone goals and assists, uh, really boost players' ratings in games. Uh, Barbosa, Gabigol, he's he's been very impressive from the game time uh, he's put in. Look, that's six starts, eight off the bench. Uh, we've used him pretty efficiently, uh, obviously, yeah, rotating a bit. Uh, he had a little injury, and then, yeah, he's been coming back since then, but that's not really where he was scoring. Uh, he had a pretty consistent uh, play, like, area of play here, didn't he? Uh, so, uh, pretty happy with that, and that's a good, yeah, really good goal sc- score. Goal, good goal scoring patch, that's easy enough to say. So, uh, let's move on. And just sort by those goals so you can see how that's level. You know, you can see how the balance with that with Martinelli selecting. Asu Fati, you know, we very excited about his move. Big money signing, but highly valued. You know, one of the best youngsters out there. Uh, obviously, we're not going to play this like rebuild for the duration of his career. But yeah, he has always has an amazing career. Assists, you could say they're shared pretty well. We talked about how Smith Rowe's done, but really four assists, like that's nothing crazy. But I like that. We've shared the load, which I prefer. Like, it's, if you have one player, it's got like 10 assists. Like, it looks outstanding, but this gives you more consistency and kind of more reliability when you're not relying on one or two players for the assist. You've got, yeah, a shared load. I'd say you'd focus on, you know, the one assist sometimes can be a bit random, but at the end of the day, yeah, you still get credit for it. But when the players that have got two or more, you could say three or more are notable as well, but... Uh, when they've got two or more, they've done it more. It's not just a single uh, lucky occasion. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with the spread we've got anyway. And even on that, you count the single assists, uh, more than half our squad has got assists so far in half of the season. So that's pretty neat, uh, really. If you see the guys on zero, some defensive-minded players as well, a uh, majority of them, or others that have not really played games. So, yeah, uh, I think regardless of being sixth in the league, we're doing all right. So even though right now we're not in the position of being top four, I'm confident. Like, we're close with the pack. It's, ah, uh, when two teams above you are in generally in an overachieving position, I've not, I'll give you, you're curious, aren't you? Like, how the hell is West Ham not just top of the league, but with some breathing space? Like, who's getting their goal? Again, Bowen, Vlasic, okay. Assists? Average rating, Kurt Zuma, the man who has the highest strength possible, as strong as you can get, but still assault a cat. I could say more, but let's move on. Yeah, in FM, the next game, FM20, you got to lower, some of his mentals need to get destroyed. We just, <laughs> uh, but anyway, I want to see their, ta- they're going to have a simple flight, four, two, three, what did I tell you? I can't really talk, can I? But like, that's what's working in the game. So, like, it just shows you how good it is. Even West Ham can use it and they'll be top. So, we just... We generally do have a lot of opposition instructions. There we go. Yeah, I generally abide by them. <laughs> yeah, listen to the feedback. Yeah, we need to bring another one in with Gabriel out. We've got, you know, the few options. White probably comes in. And yeah, as the BB, it, ooh, yeah, he, he brings a lot to the defense. Uh, like, look at that. 14 passing, 13 vision. That's, you know, that's a bit above average, you'd say. Uh, in, yeah, you can see ball playing defender. Well, to be fair, he's got a lot on the three, yeah, three star. But uh, yeah, as I was saying, uh, good technique, uh, pretty good uh, in terms of that. Initially, yeah, we're going to bring in Terrera, but... To give Martinel, I want to get our stars, even Jacker as well. You can tell in the sharpness and morale maybe as well, uh, kind of who we are using and all that. So Martinelli, that's the thing about Smith Rowe. I like we can just drop him in there. Uh, you see his role, yeah, three star. For him to be the Mezzala, uh, not too bad. And then Martinelli, I like I like his versatility. Like he doesn't even, like he's only competent there. Uh, but we can drop him in. Uh, you know, he's skillful. We, To be fair, we like him out wide, but or even up top. Sure, that would be nice. But you've got to find a way to fit in the players. I think Nanzu as well would make the bench. Just to give you a look at how he's going as well. 
Oh man, not nah, like it's a toughie because you got Kamara in there. Ben, I feel for this game. <laughs> we're talking about Ben White. Uh, we end up bringing Nianzu. I feel like I want to show you like the new names, like with Kamara playing Nianzu. Uh, who else? Well, yeah, Fatty, uh, Barbosa. It just gives you, yeah, some of the, yeah, fresher faces. Maybe if we're leading, bring on Galhard. Maybe we'll start, Ga yeah, Caligari. You know, we signed him last season, but show you, uh, so you see his progression. Let me know if you prefer that anyway, at least for the matches that are against, you know, when it's an easier win. Uh, when it's a big game, yeah, you got to prioritize winning, <laughs> putting your best selection in, but this is not a bad team at all. Uh, let's get right into it. Should be... Like, not just getting a win here, but I, I want to be seeing a good performance. I have thought about maybe some tactical changes. I know, again, we talk about the 4-2-3-1. But at the same time, we've made uh, we've made some signings to yeah fit this setup as well. Uh, it's kind of how it goes. And, you know, I don't think... <laughs> we're at the point where oh we need to say put an end to the run of a bad result you might not win a couple but i don't think we've been poor let's go out there today because you're gonna we're still being playing some good football <sighs> creating quality chances so let's see Caligari does take corner as well, but come on. Claudinho, now Trossard. If they, they could put a bit of doubt in our minds, if, that's probably where Brighton actually have a chance. Uh, we're going to have an early shout, just say encourage. Just so you can see them all. Let's move over to the middle of the pitch. Cheers. Um, yeah, like encourage a lot of the time like sometimes let's just go back um <laughs> that's better because i know that that reaction is what they get and then sometimes when i see like i'll do it with a few unhappy faces i'm like okay what happened there <laughs> it should be doing good but yeah majority of the time is like that and now sack why why what that's where the smarts need to come into it like you're left-footed like Put it on your left and finesse it in the top corner. Like, they blast it too much in those situations. Is that... See, is that more player quality or is that 3D gameplay? A lot of people talk about the gameplay. How much is it just the player? You need to be more experienced in those situations. Saka's a good player, but he's, you know, still on the younger side. People say, oh, those should be finished. But how much is it the quality of the player or bad gameplay. <laughs> Where do you put that on, actually? I, I put it more so on the player. But at the same time, how much finesse goals happen in FM as well? So do they go together? I don't know, actually. I, I need a definitive answer. Both could make sense. We're not worrying too much because we've got the possession, but, you know, generally a move we tend to go with. We want to get the you know tempo high as possible and then be more expressive. When we can tell we are in control of the game, just step that intensity up, basically. That's what we're looking to do. And we get a corner. Can we get one? Yeah. I feel you're Nianzu. Did he straight? No, no way. That would be very rare from a corner. Very rare. Goal, yeah, tell you what. Don't think he would have been off. What are you to lay? He's like, can you tell I was confused? He came in, jumping, running to it. He was nowhere near offside. You rarely see them even called. Not called for being offside, but to be, you know, taken look at uh, by VAR. And in the end, just to show, he was a very, again, look at his value, man. We compare with a free transfer, tw that, the, there's so much value in that as well. Like, he's 20 years old, like just the years ahead of him, man. Look, he's got strength, in it. he's strong and quick, good in the air, just such a phys physical, oh. <laughs> they make him well, they make him well They're out in France. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they put in their food. They put something in their food. I tell you what. I tell you what. It's a beast. 
Seriously. It's going to be more where that comes from. But Tierney. Tierney. Oh. Smith Rowe. Martinelli. This is... Not bad. I wanted him to score that. They'd be like, yeah, he's fine through the middle as well. Or in the attacking mid position. But one nil. Yeah, uh, we're about to go into half time, but uh, generally the praise yeah, maintains the happiness as well in the same way. Generally, after you score a goal, take a lead uh, just to re retain uh, that kind of happiness. Uh, going to half time is good as well. And then we'll pile on top of that. Had a lot of shots. I'm happy. So, yeah, the players are in a very, very good mood. Let's take that into the second half now. <laughs> How often does that... You you go down, press the space bar, and it, a highlight, that happens, and I always say it, that it happens more often than you think it probably should, but <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's the luck of it all. Here's Saka. All right. Hmm. Look at this. Fatty, you probably expected that, but there was a reason we were going to pause it. Now we lower the tempo, lower tempo for a little bit, maybe be more disciplined. Let's retain that. And maybe just keep in mind, one fifty-three possession now. See how that changes it, if it does at all. Or it could probably stay around uh, the same. But you'll see what we do. Ooh, maybe the last 15 minutes. We'll wait to see. Well, yeah, there we go. We wait until we hit that. And then Tierney with... He, he wants to stay on injury affecting him. Actually, we... Funnily enough, we don't have someone who can go left back on the bench at the moment. Yeah, that will be Tavares. Uh, yeah, maybe just... We'll see how fit he is for the next game. And He's not being forced off, so we're going to leave it for now. Martinelli played his part. Let's bring on Galhart. You know, he's got decent passing technique, vision as well. So, yeah, natural as striker, but... Ooh, maybe shadow striker. We might put him as that. But he's got a few at two-star... And for a final change, you know, we still got Lacazette around. But I think Smith Rowe comes off and we bring on... <sighs> What's worse, complacent, unsure? We bring on Torreira. Yeah, his role is very interesting because he's good as a ball-winning mid as well. So I'm going to... It's I, Again, we're going to put it on support. And I know party on defend. So we're going to do with party. We can go central midfielder. On defend. Just switch up. Yeah, switch up the role so we can allow that. I don't want to play two ball winning mids. <laughs> but yeah. And one thing we're going to do. Saka, put him over to the right side. Give Lacazette a run for Saka. Yeah, that's why we put him on that side. Because yeah, Lacazette uh, on that left. You see he's got yeah attacking midfield left. And then going to the actual changes. Yeah, we're going to go a higher tempo. We're going to be more direct now. Slightly more direct. And, yeah, get those balls in and be more expressive. So, we, yeah, we had the lower tempo for a little bit. Actually, Galhard, yeah, try him as a shadow striker. There we go. So, we're on the hunt. Like, we haven't dominated this game. Like, if you look at the goal or you look at the shots on goal... It's closer than I would like it to be. So, now, Galhart, we're creating good enough chances to have another one in this game, though. So, that's what we did. For a little bit, we slowed the game down, then allows us to go, you know, a bit more direct, high tempo, last 15 minutes, uh, trying to finish off the game. <laughs> well, I am trying to give, like, instructions on how to play FM. or how, That's how I play it, though. Oh, the way I see it, logical. Uh, because you can't go hard for the whole game. I like to yeah slow it down and yeah hit it hit them with another one with a finisher. Oh, like man, all these shots. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, I think we definitely we deserve more than one today. So it wasn't a bad performance. Uh, come the end of the game, the defense uh, held up their part, but. I think if anything at the moment, yeah, maybe we need to work on the attack uh, just a bit a bit more training sessions because uh, the finishing, because we're creating good chances. Uh, that's not an issue at all. So uh, it's always good to see uh, what we're doing, but you just want to see, yeah, the ball going in the back of the net a bit more. That's the name of the game. So 
Uh, but the repeated chances created 17 total shots. Yeah, that's a tick for the game, I say. Oh, would you take a look at this? <laughs> well, yeah, in an episode as well, Man City lose against Aston Villa, who's not having the greatest season themselves. And Leeds, they're just... They're, I, I, I've said this before, and it's not like I'm just making an excuse for a team. It happens. When teams start well, they generally maintain it. Like... I saw though, like teams, you expect leads to drop, but they don't drop as much as you would expect. Uh, they could probably still at least get a, like, in fifth, sixth, or seventh this season. I don't expect them to be top four, but yeah, they generally maintain uh, that performance level throughout the season. But uh, we like to focus on what we're doing ourselves, but it shows you why we need to keep up uh, winning games. But yeah, Wonder Kid, Tangai, and Yanzu, he was, like, bigger than his goal, had good defensive efforts. Uh, Tierney. Uh, just one to two days, and Caligari pay increase was going to happen. Yeah, I wonder how good he gets, though. I think at the minimum, maybe we can get a bit of... I say we signed him for $22 million, so not too much profit, but there might be someone above his ability. You sell him for $30 million, and, you know, he's been a bit part player these couple seasons, so it's it's not a bad move. It's maybe not even what you expect him to become, but uh, Tommy Asu, probably, yeah, the current one for us who's the top level... But even him, uh, yeah, three and a half star, he's not bad, but I feel like there's another right back out there could be, you know, a level above that could be a target. But uh, yeah, yeah, Wonder Kid, superstar, really happy with his efforts. So yeah, we're going to leave this one uh, there for now. You know, we're still in the FA Cup, League Cup as well. Uh, we'll see where that, um, yeah, come the end of the season, uh, what happens there. And yeah, uh, what I mentioned with Tavares, he could uh, come in the next game, rest Tierney. It just fits that we've got Doncaster, even away from home, should go uh, get the job done there. But yeah, like we we're going to say, um, I want to start a series with now there's, I've got a database uh, with like, like updated transfers and all that. But for the next season, uh, with updated leagues, like the promotions and relegation, so one Premier League team, I've always done that in the past because when the season's done in real life, we're looking towards the next one. So, um, yeah, depending on how this season goes, I, I don't want to have another series start. I want to finish finish off a rebuild before I get into that because we've still got the journeyman going as well, but I feel a bit of interest dropping for that. So, yeah, I kind of want to uh, hopefully uh, get a more interesting um, yeah, well, just what um, just gauge what more people are interested in, you know. So uh, at this point, so see how this goes today. Hopefully, you guys can leave a thumbs up if you want to see more of it. But yeah, my attention, uh, maybe like a lot of people, uh, going towards the next season. But out of the three promoted teams to the Premier League, let me know which one will be interesting to save uh, to kind of yeah build anticipation to the new season. Uh, let me know up in the comments, and I'll see you guys next time.